each orbital module would have, would have its own particular set of instruments aboard so that the whole, the, the whole system, the whole station, would have uh, all these functions, all the complementary functions needed. And this is a recording of the previous uh, feed done by Jai Zhigang, the opening the hatch. Let's again check in with the picture that is just amazing. Opening the hatch to the outer space and seeing him getting out of the uh, orbital module in, in the EVA space suit. Although this is a moment we all anticipated, but it's still very amazing and surprising to see it in reality. Many people are saying that those astronauts should be very athletic to do uh, those performances. He needs uh, to have strong muscles to turn. It does, is it the case? No. No. You it's just, not. It's, it's actually very easy. You can be a normal easy. person to perform. Even very light pressure applied well, for a period of time. He's waving his hand. Just, yeah. just then he's waving his hand. A, a hand, a waving that should be taken as a very historic picture. You were saying that a normal person can actually perform. Oh, oh it, it, it's not difficult mm -hmm. at all. A slight pressure applied for several seconds will accelerate your, your astronaut or whatever he's pushing quite significantly, yeah. But how about uh, repairing those instruments and tools on, on the spacecraft or the telescope? Then you would want to be tethered to the thing you're working on in such a way that both of your hands are free and so that if you push against it or pull on it, it's not going to move you. Mm. Uh, something like the air logs. The principle is same with the ground. We use the pressure to protect the particularly put, put through these things. Mm. So that needs some strength. Mm. That's talking about they need a, a little and bigger force. And they have force. actually trained this uh, move here on the ground. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So what happens if you are someone untrained, unprepared, and you are sent into space? Can you do all this stuff? The, the natural reaction of an untrained person would be to overdo everything because they're accustomed to fighting against gravity on the ground. So it would be There is very no possibility you can uh, finish your mission without training. You would bump your head a lot. <laughs> you would. <laughs> the first time you pushed off from the wall of your spaceship cabin, you would crash into the opposite okay. wall. Okay, because you pushed too hard. Yes. Uh, this is the historic moment of handing over of some of the materials. It's interesting to watch the, uh, the footage of uh, astronauts who've been in space for, for many weeks. Mm. You see them uh, a scene in the interior of a space station, and they just sort of, they, they gently push off from one wall, and then they just touch the wall with their fingertips from mm -hmm. time to time to steer themselves. There's almost no effort involved. So this is a stunt they learn in space. It's, it, you can learn the theory before you go into space. But you have to feel it, it to it, do that's it. That's right, that's right. Well, this is the Jai Zhigang finishing his EVA and getting back into the orbital module There he goes. I think this video must be played over and over again in the coming days. <clears throat> Let me remind you, this is a recording of the previous EVA done by two Chinese Taikonauts on board the Shenzhou 7 spacecraft. When we are watching this recording, actually, 
the two astronauts uh, who stayed in the orbital module are going through their repressurization process. Space material science is one important branch of the space science mm -hmm. because materials, when it's uh, uh, exposed to the space, the characteristics of the material change a lot, especially the lubricant, mm. perhaps uh, totally different. Uh, Features. So if you don't have that expectation, it mm -hmm. may have problems. Yeah. Well, this is the picture that we just uh, mm -hmm. wowed the about. Sun the sunset <laughs> in sunset. space. Uh, and gleam the spacecraft with golden color. Mm -hmm. This is unbelievable, a picture that should surprise and dazzle everybody watching it. If you, uh, if you actually go outside at night and watch a satellite as it undergoes sunset, you'll see that the satellite will briefly turn red yeah, before it disappears. Yeah, at a moment, yes. it's glittering the sunlight. Well, at 4, 4 p.m. this afternoon, first, the Chinese Taikonaut has finished its first ever EVA so perfectly, so successfully. And back in our studio, we've all been surprised and dazzled mm -hmm. by what has been done by Jai Zhigang and uh, Liu Boming and also Jing Haipeng. Three astronauts up there that finished their feet so successfully. Textbook <coughs> maneuver, each step is wonderful. So what is your estimate, what is your assessment of the thing they've done? Mr. Lewis. Complete success. The, uh, the uh, mission goals have all been achieved, except, of course, for coming home. And, they must uh, miss the moment, all the 